Yes, uh, not so much for mankind. But for womankind, my record isn't quite so bleak. You are something we do not have in Russia. Thank you. That's and why I believe in the future of my country. Yeah. I'm beginning to believe in it myself since I met you. I still don't quite know what it's all about. It confuses me. Frightens me. But it fascinates me. You're not good. You like me just a little bit. Your general appearance is not distasteful. Thank you. The whites of your eyes are clear. Your cornea is excellent. Your cornea is terrific. Ninochka, tell me. You're so expert on things. Can it be that I'm falling in love with you? Why must you bring in wrong values? Love is a romantic designation for a most ordinary biological, or shall we say, chemical process. A lot of nonsense is talked and written about it. Oh, I see. What do you use instead? I acknowledge the existence of a natural impulse common to all. What can I possibly do to encourage such an impulse in you? You don't have to do a thing. Chemically, we're already quite sympathetic. You're the most incredible creature I've ever met. Ninochka. Ninochka. You repeat yourself. Yes, I'd like to say it a thousand times. You must forgive me if I seem a little old-fashioned. After all, I'm just a poor bourgeois. It's never too late to change. I used to belong to the petty bourgeoisie myself. No. My father and mother wanted me to stay and work on the farm. But I prefer the bayonet. The bayonet? Did you really? I was wounded before Warsaw. Wounded? How? I was a sergeant in the 3rd Cavalry Brigade. Would you like to see my wound? I'd love to. A Polish Lancer. I was 16. Poor Ninochka. Poor, poor Ninochka. Don't pity me. Pity the Polish Lancer. After all, I'm still alive. What kind of a girl are you, anyway? Just what you see. A tiny cog in the great wheel of evolution. You're the most adorable cog I've ever seen. Ninochka, let me confess something. Never did I dream I could feel like this toward a sergeant. Did you hear that? It's 12 o'clock. It's midnight. Look at the clock. One hand has met the other hand. They kiss. Isn't that wonderful? That's the way a clock works. What's wonderful about it? Ninochka, it's midnight. One half of Paris is making love to the other half. You merely feel you must put yourself in a romantic mood to add to your acceleration. But I can't possibly think of any better reason. That's false sentimentality. Oh, you analyze everything out of existence. You'd analyze me out of existence, but I won't let you. Love isn't so simple, Ninochka. Ninochka, why do doves bill and coo? Why do snails, the coldest of all creatures, circle interminably around each other? Why do moths fly hundreds of miles to find their mates? Why do flowers slowly open their petals? Oh, Ninochka, Ninochka, surely you feel some slight symptom of the divine passion. A general warmth in the palms of your hands. A strange heaviness in your limbs. A burning of the lips that isn't thirst, but something a thousand times more tantalizing, more exalting than thirst. You're very talkative. Was that talkative? No, that was restful. Again. Thank you. Oh, my barbaric Ninochka. My impossible, unromantic, statistical... Telephone is ringing. Let it ring. One of your friends may be in need of you. You must answer. Oh, 